What is going on everybody? I hope you're all doing well and you're all happy. Um, I hope you're all staying inside. It's kind of getting boring in lockdown or quarantine. So I thought I would get something uh, different to do. So yeah, boom. So over here, I got the Lego Fast and Furious Dodge Charger. Yeah, really exciting. I haven't bought a Lego set in around um, 10 years, but yeah, I really like Fast and Furious, obviously Dodge Charger, I'm a huge muscle car fan, and yeah, I thought now would be a good time to maybe do like an unboxing and a build of this car, so yeah, let's go. So this car just came out today, actually, I pre-ordered it on Amazon, because we can't go out to stores outside. But yeah, it's uh, for ages 10 plus. The set number is 42111. So this is what the front of the box looks like. This is what the back looks like. Gives you some extra views. Shows you the uh, CGI version of the Dodge Charger from the movie. And yeah, so let's get into this. This is a thick book. Jeez, I remember building um, Lego sets before that. It's a really thick book. Uh, yeah. So this is everything that comes in the set. We've got one, two, three, four bags. Four big bags. We've got um, three small bags and one medium-sized bag. We got the instruction manual with some stickers. By the looks of it, uh, we got a little frame piece here. And of course, four tires, four nice big tires. Um, yeah, so, okay. So, I've got all of my uh, parts ready for the first bit of the build. So, yeah, quick update on the build. I'm still on the first bag, but yeah, I've got quite a lot done. Pretty crazy stuff. But anyways, um, one of the stickers that you have to put on the car, it's, um, <laughs> It's a Fiat Chrysler copyright sticker. So, yeah, that's kind of funny. Yeah, but here, still working on it. I'm on 30 something step and I'm watching the Grand Tour. So, yeah, all good. So, call me a slow Lego builder, but yeah, I'm still on bag one. Still working through all of this. It's just, I don't know. Like, you really gotta commend Lego at this point, you know? Like, just look at how complicated all this is. You know how many small pieces come, but look, it's got like suspension, it's got like turning bits here for individual wheels. You really gotta commend, you know, Lego designers for the amazing work that goes into, um, yeah, designing a Lego set. So, yeah, I already give them quite a lot of points for that, and still watching the Grand Tour. Yeah. Alright, first bit done, first bag. And yeah, this is what it looks like at the moment. Um, yeah, quite a lot of technical things, but really cool, really fun. Yeah, I'm enjoying myself. Still going strong, we're probably around halfway through book two, and yeah, this is what it's looking like at the moment. Starting to really take shape. All right, we finished bag two. It's, yeah, really starting to come together. We've got the wheels on, we've got the engine, we can see here, if we, if we push it along, we can see the engine moving up and down. It's got steering. All good. So yeah, ooh, yeah. It's also got the stand function, the wheelie function, or out. Yeah, good progress. All right, we're doing well. It's getting late, yeah. But still, yeah. Front half of the car is done. We've got the engine. The bonnet, got the fronts, starting to look a bit recognizable. That's a Dodge Charger. Yeah, all good. One more bag to go. All right, so, um, around four hours later, this is it. It's all done. The Dodge Charger by Lego, the Fast and Furious Dodge Charger. Yeah, so four hours. It takes quite a lot. I'd say each bag of the set took around one hour each, but still, yeah, I'm really happy I uh, finished this build, so yeah, let's go.
Alright, All right, so starting with the size, here's my hand. Um, it's a pretty big set. Yeah. Yeah, let's talk about the build. So, really complex build, really intricate build. You really kind of stuff from um, all of the all the technical bits inside, you know, the drivetrain, the wheels, all that kind of thing. And then kind of the body comes afterwards. But yeah, it's a very fun build, you know, really keeps you busy, especially now. If you guys got time to kill, you know, um, just build yourself a Dodge Charger. It does kind of capture the whole Dodge Charger, um, a real life Dodge Charger, except I feel like the bonnet should come out a bit further and so should the back. Also maybe the roof line, I feel like the roof line is actually maybe not that bad, but yeah, that's okay. Uh, there are quite a few nice details. I think the front is pretty spot on, like this um, front over here. It's also got some charger stickers. Ooh. Yeah, it's got some charger stickers to kind of make it work. Um, fuel filler cap is also very Mopar. Yeah. Um, also, I, uh, I think the rear is pretty good. It's a bit blocky at the rear, you know. I feel like if the, um, if the boot line was longer, you know, that would kind of slightly help, but you know, um, and the California uh, number plate is also a really, really nice touch. The interior of the car is also really sparse, it's kind of a makeshift seat and steering wheel, yeah, in one seat, and also uh, we've got a fire extinguisher in the passenger seat. I remember the car being very tracked out, but yeah, I don't know, this is very kind of sparse. Um, but we do get some uh, nitro bottles, some nitros in the back, uh, which is a kind of cool, you know, it's kind of a cool detail. We can see the engine work, so bonnet can come up and we can see the pistons moving. Uh, there's also this um, supercharger bulb, which is kind of cool. Yeah, that's a yeah, pretty cool detail. And the way it's all kind of like geared up together to work is pretty cool, yeah. Um, so yeah, all the doors open, this door, that door, and the trunk all open. Um, you can control the steering through using this knob back here, so if I turn it to the right, it'll turn right and left, and ooh. And then one of the big play features of this car, it's actually kind of hard to access, but down here there's a little mechanism. Oh. There's a little mechanism down here where you can get the car to do a a wheelie like they uh, like they do in the movies. So here it's actually a little lever here, but it's kind of hard to access. Pull the lever, get this all the way down. You want to make sure it's all the way here for it to properly work. And here we go. It's on its rear wheels doing the wheelie. In the front wheelie, so and it can actually you know hold the weight pretty well, so you know you can kind of slide it around like this um, as much as you want. You could even um, yeah display it like this if you want. So yeah, that's that, and then you can just pop it back down. All good. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty 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 cool setup. Um, it's also got uh, front and rear suspension, so nice and squishy, you know. Yeah, you can make the car sit really low. Yeah, um, yeah, that's another thing I think about. It. The car kind of sits high, you know. So maybe if the car was kind of sitting lower a bit, you know. Yeah, so I'd say pretty good build, except um, you know, if you want to be more accurate, I guess extend the hood, extend the trunk, make it a bit lower, maybe get a slightly nice interior, but. Yeah, this is a pretty good build. So, so the cost of the set, at least in Japan, was around uh, 13, 14,000 yen um, on Amazon. I think it's a pretty good build, you know. Um, I wonder how it will do, you know. I don't know if many people will buy this, but yeah, um, if you're a Fast and Furious fan, you know, if you're a muscle car fan uh, like I am, you know, um, yeah, maybe this is worth, um, maybe this is worth buying. Um, also a very good um, stay at home project, you know, um, everyone's got a lot of time, build a Dodge Charger, kill four hours, pretty nicey. But yeah, as always, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, I hope you all, uh, yeah, have a good day and peace.